Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. I have brought you to the main screen here because there's a little something I need to inform you all. Um, so, what I said about this being a blind playthrough is still technically accurate for the story. What do I mean by that? Well, I did want to play this with my brother who has also gotten the game because me and Jamer are, you know, so this is Sharon, my kind of off-screen character, and though he's a much higher level with a lot of different creatures, we still have Dervel, who's the Let's Play character, who I will be continuing to go through the story with. I have also, unfortunately, discovered that, uh... Well, I'll jump in and then explain my thoughts. Also, take a brief moment here. Okie dokie. So what do I mean by I've discovered something? Well, unfortunately for Sharon here, uh... Oh, uh, actually, Sharon, funny enough, is probably gonna be better off than my non-LP character as he's going gun lance, hammer, sword, and shield, as compared to my other hunter, who's replaced the hammer with the hunting horn. But, aside from that, we are actually on the first island, and it's the tutorial island. I've also decided how I'm going to tackle these quests. So... If I go here, and turn this in, we gain funds, we gain stuff, and we don't see it here anymore. However, some of these missions can be done multiple times. For the sake of not going stir-crazy with side quest exhaustion, and you know, I'll probably be doing these off-screen, assuming I, well, I'll be doing some off-screen, but like during grinding sessions, if I feel like there's something that we can't handle. I'll also only be doing them once. Repeats will be done, again, during off-screen time. This is simply because I don't want to keep having to go back here to turn in things I've already done and then be yeah, effectively stuck. So, we have Cassel and Ranmar as our two, and I believe we had another one. Oh, we were supposed to report to Chief Gara first. And I believe we report to these two as well, and they'll be able to give us our hey. rewards. Hi there. Yep. That extra money, I believe, gets us our Thanks. our sword and shield now. Hello. Wow! Thank you. <laughs> and that's exactly what the problem would be now. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this. So you see how it's a. Uh, bug off and let me fish, midnight mushrooms, and gathering? Well, those are completed. But... If I go back over here... I can find midnight mushrooms back on there. Which means I can repeat it, but this time it'll give me life soot instead of just blue mushrooms. We also have this, the prayer pot. I actually sort of looked at this first episode. So, we're going to quickly pray. Thank you, and look, over, look after me. Heading over here. Welcome. We're probably going to forge our weapons, or most of them. Ooh, the Kulu B actually might be a... Is it? It's a it's pretty much a straight upgrade. With a sleep seal chaser. Would not mind that. So we're going to grab this using one in one sounds like the best. Gonna slap that on there. Making your weapon makes it feel so much better, doesn't it? We do not have the means to make a better... Flicked right up, if I remember correctly. Yeah. We're gonna just make the dancer piece, though. 
We're gonna keep uh, Dervel here, though, in his, you know, his normal set. Thank you. I believe I also have found a. Yes, I have. Here. We'll equip Hero since there's no stopping me from taking damage. All right. We're off to go talk to Chief. Oh. Yay, you're back. How'd you like your first solo quest? It's pretty wild, right? I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Huh, was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Guess there's no denying you're Red's grandkid. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Oh wow, you're right. Huh, I'm a better teacher than I thought. Which is it? Thanks to your teaching, or because this is Red's grandkid? Eh, who cares? The newbie did a great job, and that's what counts. What do you think, Kana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Hmm. You should go with them too, just in case. Why so serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it! We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Turf wars? What's that? It's when monsters fight over territory. And unlike in Monster Hunter World, well, these turf wars are just problems for you. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. All right, the Pona Grasslands incident. With monsters now fighting over territory, there seems to be no end to the strange courage and occurrences plaguing the island. Concerned about the terrible impact this could have on the, nat on the nature of the world, Chief Gara asked you to heading, tasked you with heading to the Pona Grasslands to find out more. So, battle buddies. Uh, basically, they use skills, items, and offer support, but they also have their own hearts, and it will count as a defeat if they lose their all their hearts as well. So, it's just as important to keep them healthy as it is to keep ourselves. Now, luckily for Ranmar, well, luckily for all my monsters, this isn't a type of Nuzlocke. It won't be very hard to Nuzlocke this game. But, there's a reason to having multiple of the same monster. Now, why would I be saying that? That's why. So, if we look at this Velocidrome, which we're not going to actually name, it has Kin Cost Down, which means that, you know, I can use its techniques for a little bit cheaper. Um, it's not much, but, uh... Oh, actually, I can go check this out. Now there is a point to having multiples of monsters. Oh, Magic Monsties. Uh, go to Magic Monsties and, oh yeah, I can change their names or release them out into the wild. I can register them as a favorite. And if I obtain a blueprint, I can keep more Monsties here. At this point, I can only have 12. So not counting Ranmar and Cassell who are, well, actually counting Ranmar and Cassell who are even part of the team, shows I have a lot to go with. I have no favorites right now, no power, I have speed, and I have technical. As you can see, Ranmar has different things to Velo here. Velo has Harmony Gene, which is what makes him have the Kin Cost down. He also has Onslaught, and a few more slots here, which 
might be might be able to do something about. Of course, if I were to ever get rid of Ranmar or, or Velo here, I would try to see that, you know, something is done to have their memories still there. Be it by name or whatever. Alright, so we run off. I won't be making too many sidetracking things either, now that I know that this is still effectively a tutorial. So, we will try to do the quests, obviously. But we're not gonna, like, zoom in on them. It's kind of a more in-passing thing we do. Oh. Uh, is this a talky cutscene or a looky cutscene? Talky. Right. Let's go check out where these turf wars have been happening. Sounds good. But what are we going to be checking out? Well... Obviously, we're going to find some monster tracks. Monsters leave traces behind wherever they go. We can follow those to wherever the monsters are now. Well, okay. But how are we supposed to follow a trail in such a huge area? No worries. I've got us covered. Ta-da! You ever hear of scout flies? Once we find the tracks, these little fellas will do the rest. For real? And anyone can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? Of course. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. Here, take some. Whoa! 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 I'll show you what to do once we find some tracks. Alrighty, tracking monsters. Monsters leave behind torn of grass, dung, etc., etc., and you can scout them. See, it's pretty much exactly the same how it is in, well, in world. Let's find some tracks. Once we found enough, the scout flies will do the rest. Looks like the scout flies picked up on something. There must be tracks nearby. Now, of course, you can follow them directly, which is probably for the best. But much like in Monster Hunter World. Sometimes the game just kind of makes you, well, just kind of makes you stop by. Oh, oh my goodness. That is not good. That's actually very not good. Oh, dear. Now, it's not telling you to go into there before anyone's like, well, why aren't you going in there? Let's see. Ah. This is what I mean by the scout flies. Kind of like the pick and choose if you can really see the stuff up or if you can't. Thankfully, it's not the worst tracking. I still give that to the world scout flies, because, you know. Oh, they picked the trail, and I have to just follow the light. So they're telling us to go all the way over here. Always grab this stuff, though. It's guiding us more and more to things I actually can't touch. These are actually a pretty bad... Actually, they're an okay matchup for us. If we do end up fighting. But of course... As Kayla had just told us... We end up fighting these things. Well... If these things aggro us, we'll have to fight them. Which makes this a whole lot harder and more annoying for us. But real easy for them.
Well. Yikes, it spotted us. For anyone who's unaware, this is the Yayan Garuga. This monster is probably not apparent to you if you've only played Rise or if you've only played World. This is an early monster from the very first game. This is actually basically your introductory monster into fighting Wyverns. Before this, you had to fight the Bofango or the Velociparade and the Velocidromes. You thought the Dromes were the worst of it, but then they introduced the Wyverns. And this is your starter course for it. Now, when it comes to the Yayan Garuga, or the Yayan Kaku, to our buddy the Kubu Yaku over there, it's harder to say which would do better in combat. Of course, I want to believe in my monster, but it is just a pure matter of fact that, uh... It is still in a bit of the drone area. Alright. Switch out. Switch out what? Ah, it is technical. Alright, so now we see that our blunt weapon don't do much. Let's see how it handles piercing weapon. Ooh, defeat. F March took some nasty damage there. Kana went in nice though. So did Cassell. Targeting any of us. An herb for Avmar. Killer strike on top of it. Item drop, enemy down. A nice amount of crit damage. I gotta pay attention to those. I'm actually not, and gotten very close to losing. Okay, the rocket launcher, or the rock launcher. Can I have? No, I can't. Well, let's take him. That thing might still be mad. Oh, it's probably not mad yet. Wow, still no poison. Draw, a nasty draw at that. Alright, I think if we full power attack, we get the double here. At least it's what I'm hoping for. Ah, the last card. So this is how it looks solo. This'll put you out of commission. Don't worry, I won't always be showing that. You can skip it. Ooh, it's a tired boy right there. Looks like Kane's gonna heal up our buddy for us. amount of XP for us. Only C ranking though. Fortunate. We had... We could have gotten more head-to-head -to, -head to it. It would have been fine. I also see how powerful these uh, cutscenes are.
Okay, let's stop the auto advance here, because I will have to be reading this. <clears throat> when Oss retreats, its den will show up somewhere in the field. It's a great chance for you to grab an egg. Each monster has different conditions that make it retreat, but a paintball works well against any opponent. More monsters will... Most monsters will be more likely to retreat if they're hit with a paintball before you defeat them. So this is why I, that happened so often in previous games, huh? Okay, retreating. Sometimes when you defeat a monster, it will get back up and return to its den. This is called a retreat. It's a great chance to get an egg from that monster. When a monster retreats into its den, it will be marked on the map. Pay, pay it a visit and snag an egg. The retreat conditions are different for mo Well, there are many ways to make a, a monster retreat, but they will be more likely to do so if it's hit with a paintball, and you can check the Monsterpedia for more ideas. So, we'll be getting a new monster. I will warn you all right now, if you play this game after watching me play it, or if you have been playing this game and you're wondering why you're struggling to accumulate some monsties, this might be what you need to get the ones that you're seeking after, at least the very specific ones that are out in the field that you can see. This is actually how, the more astute of you will notice, I probably got a monstie that you did not expect me to have. We'll get to that when, you know, when we get to it, but just know... It's it's a good mechanic. I, I actually like that. Do you have a little bit more control over what you recruit rather than letting it all be random chance based off the density you find in the world? And of course, you know, even if you're going into the den, I think there's still a chance that you can get a different monster. And we're not going after them right now. So we can see where the nest is, which is important. The cuckoo is waiting there, but don't let the don't let the game scare you. You have a decent amount of time, and I don't believe the monster should wake up. So you should be able to grab everything around the area, hopefully, and it shouldn't wake up. It might wake up, but it, it shouldn't. Alright, and you actually cannot grab eggs while you're on your monster. So let's, uh. Doesn't smell like much, and it's like two. That's basically the game's way of saying leave. <laughs> so, welcome everyone to. I'm gonna show everyone to the, uh. The newest addition to our team. This is also part of the reason why it'd be very hard to quote unquote does lock. I'd also have to probably very much determine the rules of the does lock. But yes, not everyone just pointed out this little guy, which I will be demonstrating in just a second. <clears throat> the cat vet, the catavanner, safely taking Mew anywhere Mew want to go. That's the catavan's guarantee. The Catavan! The Catavan can instantly transport you to the location you have visited before or to a Catavan stand. The Catavaner can also save your progress for you. Press A near them to use the service. It is also acceptable from the camp menu. Note, if you press X in map mode, you can open the menu and then you can find... Well, note that there are some situations in which you cannot use the service, for example, when you're carrying an egg. But you can basically use this to pop back to wherever you need to go. In an instant. As well as save if you're out in the field, which gives me the opportunity to do more. Actually, there's a little something I would like to test before I go back. Hey, Nui, ever ridden on a catavan, buddy? It's not the smoothest ride, but it'll take you where you want to go. Once you cross a catavan stand somewhere, you can go back to that location, pause down, best way to travel. Makes getting around much easier. How will we try it right now to get back to the village? I sure hope it's a smooth ride. So, they're already active, and there is a treasure chest over here that we were not able to get because we instantly jumped in. Oh, and before you get something silly like throwing paintballs at everything, use some common sense. It'd be cool to have a Kanchu on the team, sure, or a Banabra. Hell, I'd even say it'd be super funny if you could have a best point on your team. 
You just don't expect it to live long. But I do want to try a little something. So they are fightable. Starting off strong, eh? Let's do it, buddy. And it's down. Well, you did it. Um, for those of you who are wondering why I did this, I actually thought we'd be able to see if we could recruit one. I didn't expect them to die in turn one. Huh. Well, my apologies. I think we'll just go back home. Actually, we'll just save right here. We're going to have to go right back to Chief Car, so I'll just start up back then. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Much appreciated if you do. So, I just want to say, letters. <laughs>